Hello, my name is Elizabeth Ween, and I am absolutely thrilled that my book, White Eagles, has been nominated for the Scottish Teenage Book Prize for 2021. White Eagles is the story of a young Polish pilot, Christina Tomiak, who's working at an airfield just before World War II starts, and when the German army invades Poland, she steals a plane and makes her escape. She has to fly across Europe to try to rejoin her forces, but she turns out to have a stowaway in her plane. And White Eagles is the story of her flight and her escape from her invaded country to get to the freedom of the United Kingdom in the beginning of World War II. I was inspired by several real-life Polish women who, in World War II, made their way to the United Kingdom after Poland was invaded by the German army, and ended up flying for the Air Transport Auxiliary, who assisted the Royal Air Force during the war. And in particular, I was inspired by Anna Leska, who really did steal a plane, and who had to fly during twilight so that she wouldn't be detected by enemy aircraft and ended up hiding her plane in woodland while she hid out during the night before she could fly on. And I also ended up being inspired by a lot of stories of how Polish people, particularly those in the military, ended up having to flee Poland during the war and make their way across Europe. Uh, they ended up traveling across the Mediterranean by boat, some made their way on foot, they hitched rides, they ended up in refugee centers, and they were all trying to get to the United Kingdom, to Great Britain, which they thought of as the island of last hope, because that was the last place in Europe that hadn't come under Nazi rule, and it was the place where they were going to be able to fight back against it. So those were some of the stories that inspired me. And I highly recommend the website that's been put together by the BBC called The People's War, where you can find a lot of very, very individual and personal stories about real people who did have to make these journeys. I've always been a little interested in aviation and aviation history. My husband has a private pilot's license, but even before that, I really became kind of enchanted with it when I read the books by K.M. Payton, the Flambards books, and watched the television show that was made in the 1970s about aviation in World War I. And I myself as a writer, became interested in aviation when I got my private pilot's license in 2003. And as a result of me being pretty much the only woman on the airfield where I learned to fly, I became interested in women in aviation and the history of women in aviation. And that led me to World War II when a lot of women were in fact flying. So through some of my other books, I've really learned a lot about the women who flew for the Air Transport Auxiliary and worked in aviation in the United Kingdom, assisting the Royal Air Force. And I've also written both fiction, also for Barring Barrington Stoke, the book Firebird, and nonfiction, a young adult book called A Thousand Sisters about the Russian women who flew combat missions for the Soviet Union in World War II. I actually found writing the short format books for Barrington Stoke to be kind of liberating. It doesn't take as long to do a short format book as it does to do a full length novel, even though the research is actually just about the same amount of hard work. It's a very satisfying process writing a shorter novel. I didn't have any trouble with the word length and I've written short stories before. This is what they call novella length and it is a different format. It's a little bit of a challenge to try your hand at something different, but it's always very enjoyable and satisfactory. So I 
don't feel that I've struggled with it at all and it's a real pleasure to be able to do something different and I'm hoping that I can do some more books with Barrington Stowe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy White Eagles and all the other books on the shortlist for the Scottish Teenage Book Prize. I know that I am going to enjoy reading them. Thank you.